Hello there, my name is Marilis, and if that's too hard to say, you can just refer to me as Doll because a lot of people can't say my name. Um, today we are going to make a pair of panties like this. It's actually a lot easier than it looks to be. I'll show you how to make a pattern for it, and it, that's really simple too, so don't worry about that. And uh, besides fabric, you're going to need lace, and if you're using a fabric that's different color to the lace, and blah, what did I even just say? <laughs> you're going to want fabric that matches the lace, so that once you're making the crotch part it doesn't look like all weird but if you only have like material that matches like like I have black here if I only had black material that'd be okay because it's underwear you're obviously gonna need a sewing, mach sewing machine that's not that hard to say and uh, scissors and thread that matches your fabric and lace and I'll start by, like I said, showing you the pattern. I also forgot to mention, <laughs> you're going to need pens, paper to make your pattern on. I used wax paper because that's what I have. And you're going to need a pair of panties that you're already on in order to make base the pattern off of. Get your underwear and turn it inside out and align half of it onto your paper. Take a pin and poke through the panties. Follow the shape of the fabric part of your underwear. Cut this piece out and repeat it for the other side of your underwear. If your underwear has the same on one of the sides like mine, make sure to remember to cut out two of those pieces. If one of the sides does not have a seam, then make sure to fold over your fabric when using the pattern piece to cut out the material. If you had to cut out two different pieces for the front or back piece, put them right side together now and sew zigzag stitch along the middle pieces. Once you have two pieces like this, put them right side together the seam facing you and sew zigzag stitch along the sides. Now take your elasticated lace and cut out a strip that is 3 fourths of an inch shorter than the circumference of the top of the panties. Cut another two strips that are 7 inches longer than the circumference of the panties leg hole. Zigzag stitch the ends of the waistband to make one continuous loop. Pin the bottom edge of your lace to the top edge of your panties. Stretch the lace slightly as you pin. Top stitch a zigzag stitch along the waistband of the panties. Pin the lace for your leg hole around the panties. Leave an axis of 3.5 inches at the start and end of each leg hole.
top stitch with a zigzag stitch. Do the same thing for the other leg hole. Take the middle side edges of the lace for the crotch and put one edge over the other in top stitch. Do this for the front and back piece. Put the ends of the crotch pieces together like this and top stitch with the zigzag stitch. Cut out a piece of fabric that matches your lace's color. It should be 3.5 to 4 inches long and as wide as your lace. Fold the sides of the fabric together and top stitch it into the crotch area of the lace. And then there you go, you have your own pair of panties. Just don't make the mistake I did and when you're sho I can't speak today. When you're sewing the crotch part, have make sure your panties are inside out. I had mine right side out and that was not fun to fix to see i hate seam ripping so i didn't even seam rip it i just cut off the crotch part and just re-sewed the lace together so that it would be on the inside because i did not want to deal with it like that would have taken me forever and i don't have the patience um <laughs> for as it goes for lace i maybe used two and a half yards of it for one pair of panties i made two in total like the first one i made was the practice one and that took me for my first time maybe like an hour to make recording this took me about 45 minutes to make so i think that if i were to do it off screen off camera and redo it again it wouldn't be that long maybe like 25 30 minutes if that because it's really simple the longest part i feel is just getting everything cut out making the pattern i mean once you got the pattern pieces and it's just cutting it out sewing everything together but it also could take a few tries and that's why i'm like i'm using scrap material for practice but now i'm like keep using it because it's fabric fabric is fabric <laughs> you just need stretchy material that's gonna fit comfortably and then you're good to go so um if you enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up if you want to come back for more videos and see what i have next going on you should subscribe uh next video i plan on making a two-piece outfit out of leggings i'm actually wearing them right now don't judge me because of all the different pattern it does not match but i'm gonna make like a workout style outfit based off of based off of it out of this so if you want to see that subscribe and come back i don't know when it's going to be edited because i have so many people in my house but i'll try to get it out thursday this thursday coming up so see ya are you done i realized my hair is a mess yes i know there's too much of it, but I don't want to cut it. <laughs>